Temperatures are dropping. Many children need some warm pajamas and new books. This is where the pajama program steps in. Roger Clark joins us from Murray Hill, wearing pajamas to explain. Morning, Roger. Well, hey, Pat, that's right. This is the only day of year where I get to wear pajamas on TV, and I have these great Rangers. They're called footies or feeties? I, I, call, I always call them feeties, but I guess you can call them footies or feeties, but that's my, my footie or my feetie, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, you know, we are at the Reading Center for a pajama program. It's right on East 39th Street off of Park Avenue, and this is where kids uh, are able to uh, hear some great stories. We'll talk about it in a second, but yeah, this organization founded 15 years ago. It's their anniversary this year, 15th anniversary by Genevieve Paturo. It all started with one little girl at a shelter and now 60 chapters around the country. And since then, four million pairs of new pajamas and books distributed to kids in shelters all over the country. And to talk more about it, we have Development Director of Pajama Program, Daniel Lemhall. Good to see you. I hope it's not disturbing to talk to a man in pajamas. But Hey, Roger. No, no big deal at all. <laughs> Getting used to it a little bit. But yeah, it all started with Genevieve back in 2001, and it's still going strong. Right? Yeah, so it started, uh, Pajama Program started 15 years ago, and to date we've provided over 4 million new pajamas and new books to children in need nationwide. And really it's more than just the pajamas and books. Um, for a lot of the children that we serve, bedtime is miles from their reality and we need to make sure that they have a comforting bedtime and we believe that really when you have give a child a comforting bedtime it gives them a good day the next day because they wake up with an open heart ready for the day before them that's great and it is the dangerous season right now as you guys consider it march 1st through uh, the end of no march 1st it's, it's now the october through march and basically, well, we all know it's getting it's cold, and this is when kids need those pajamas more than ever. Right? Yeah. So right now is a danger season. So that runs from October first to March thirty first, and um, right now it's really a dire situation time for the children that we serve. It's really cold. It's dreary. They don't. Um, they're they're in unfamiliar places. They need a pair of comforting pajamas and a new book to keep them warm and have a you know to have a. a really uh, a nurturing bedtime to feel loved and cared for at this time specifically. We have a lot of wonderful Danger Season supporters that really helped us uh, ensure this bedtime for many, so many of these children. Carters and Scholastic and so many companies and individuals have been you know, so generous to help us. Right. And Christy Martinez is here too, who's the Reading Center and Literacy Manager. I love coming here because it's so comfy. Like I, I could pass out on this couch right now with my pajamas, but your, your side of it is the book part. And hey, you know, you get your pajamas and you're going to sleep, but what Bedtime is all about hearing a story, and that's where you come from. Right? Well, we really believe that good nights are good days, and so when the kids come here, we want to give them a gift to take home with them or back wherever they are, um, so that they really know that someone cares about them, and they can take that and have that comforting something to go to bed at night and then wake up and have a better day. Well, guys, great job, as always. Pajama program, love it. For more information, if you want to help out, pajamas, books, just head to Ready. It's easy, pajamaprogram.org, Pat. And, uh, you know, th this is a, a couch and, and pajamas, and it's just like, this is like, this is the best. I just love it. Like, like, like you know. Okay. It's my favorite day of year. We should, we'll just put a little, uh, uh, you in the corner of the screen sleeping. Did I just leave you alone now? <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> I'm asleep. Thanks, Roger.